Hey guys, I don't know if you can hear me well because the fan is running in my bathroom, but I have just been editing for the entire day. So I literally didn't do that much. I went for like a walk or whatever, but I'm gonna do my skincare and like brushing my teeth and stuff because why not? So, ooh, probably should take my glasses off so that way, you know, I can actually wash my face. And apparently knock stuff down. I'm clearly very well put together. Just not a big deal. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna wear this shirt because I'm gonna wash my face. Like, why would I wear this? So I'll wear this one instead. I'm also gonna take off my watch. And I'm take out my earrings. Except I don't take out these two. They always get left in, so. But I need to brush my teeth first. And I do have braces, so I use two different types of floss. This floss is stuck. Cool. So I use this floss. It's called Super Floss. I use this, like, it's destroyed, but it's this one. I use this one for my front, my four front teeth because I can't use this one. These are the platypus or the orthodontic flossers, I can read, I promise. So I'm gonna floss my teeth with these first. I have a wire connecting these four front teeth together because I had my premolars taken out so they're like trying to bring my teeth together. So they're trying to get these four teeth together so they don't face out unevenly or whatever. I don't really know, I'm not an orthodontist. So I can't use this because it's too thick so I have to use that other floss, which I hate that floss. Once I finish with that, I'll use this floss. Just put it in between my teeth. Just... And then... There you go. And I'm done with that. So now that my teeth are flossed, I'm just gonna brush them. I have an oral electric toothbrush. I bought these like brush heads and I wanted to get the max clean ones, but when I went to get them at Costco, cause it's like normally I think 40 or $50 for like 10 of these or eight of these or something. And I had them on sale, so it was $10 off. And the Costco I went to didn't have the ones that I wanted, which are the max clean. These are like the flossing ones. I don't like these ones cause I hate these. These break off really, really easily, so I, but I have like 10 of them now. And then I went to a different Costco and they had the ones I wanted, but I already bought these and opened them. So I was like, well shit, so. Now I'm stuck with them and I get to use them for like ever because they don't, actually the bristles do get kind of like whatever really easily. Um, this is just like pressed whatever toothpaste. I'm not too picky with my toothpaste. I've had a bunch of different ones, it doesn't matter. To me, toothpaste is always like the same. They all do the same thing. They whiten, they clean. Just make my mouth fresh, like I don't know. Do what you gotta do. Now my teeth are very, very clean. Sometimes what I like to do when I eat, because I'm not supposed to, like braces, they have all these foods you're not supposed to eat. But I understand certain stuff like, like taffy or like really sticky food. I don't usually eat, but I eat like seeds. I have bagels, I have, I eat a lot of rice, quinoa, things like that. Like you're allowed to eat those, but they get stuck in your braces really easily. Especially seeds, they always get stuck in my braces. So I'll take one of these little brushes, I'll dip it and get some toothpaste on it and I'll just, brush in between each um, bracket so that way I can get like any food that is in my teeth loose. In my teeth loose, okay. In my brackets. Any like leftover food that my toothbrush didn't get, gonna go away. So once I finish that, my teeth will be very, very clean. And of course, I don't rinse my mouth, I just leave it. I don't use mouthwash all the time. I usually use mouthwash if like a while after I brush, my mouth feels a bit dirty. I'll use mouthwash to like refresh it, but I don't use mouthwash after I brush my teeth. Sometimes if I can feel like gunk in my teeth, I'll use this mirror and check behind my braces as well as like the sides of my mouth to see if there's anything that's like stuck in a bracket that I can't like get. Usually there's nothing, but whatever. Now I'm gonna do my skincare. My skincare has like changed a lot. Like when I was younger, I used to have really, really bad acne, like really bad. And my skin in general is like not the greatest, it's pretty bad, but it's improved a lot. And that's because I used to get like clean and clear skincare products. I know, like, they're not very good. They're horrible for your skin. Sorry, clean and clear, you're never gonna sponsor me. But I switched to um, a lot of different products and of course nothing is affiliated or associated or anything. I have like 12 subscribers, there's no sponsorships. But I wanted to share like what I do with my skin just because I want to and it's fun, so whatever. <laughs> so the first thing I do is like at night I double cleanse, right? So if I have makeup or something that I'm wearing, I'll kind of triple cleanse. So I will use this when I have like makeup and stuff because it like melts all that makeup off like why not but i usually start with this the fresh soy facial cleanser 
I'm like that. And I'm like super messy when I wash my face, so I get water and like shit all over me because like it's too short to be clean all the time. Like it's boring. So I'll wash my face for about like, I don't know, 30 to 60 seconds. I don't really keep track. It's just like about how I feel that day. So I'm gonna leave my face a little bit wet. I'm gonna follow that with something I showed a couple of vlogs ago is this, the Dermalogica cleanser shit. I don't know, daily microfibin. Microfoliant. Dermalogica daily microfoliant, whatever. I got this at Sephora because I read some reviews that it was good for blackheads and I have like hella blackheads and like hella huge pores. So I was like, I'll try anything at this point, except going to like a dermatologist because it's like expensive or an esthetician, you know. So you get your hands wet and then you just put some like in your hands, like maybe that amount, I don't know. How do you feel that day? Put a little more. Like rub your hands together a la magic and just rub it on your face. Like why not? And then I concentrate more on the areas of my face that I deem more problematic, like my nose, my cheeks, and my chin. But of course I do rub it all over my face because why not? Again, not associated, not affiliated. I have no sponsorships. I have 12 subscribers. But if you want to, I'm open. Just kidding, I don't expect that. Please. Please, I have two cats. Like, I need to feed them. They're my babies, but they're like grandpas. So what do I do? How do you feed your grandpa if you don't got any money? Like, I'll wash my face for about like a minute or whatever, and then I will rinse it. All right, and then pat dry. I leave my skin a little bit damp, and then I put a toner on. So I use the Fresh Rose Mist Toner. I've been using this for, I don't know, five years, four years at this point. I love this toner so much. And then I just rub it gently all over my skin. Rub it on my neck, rub it everywhere, just literally everywhere. And then I just let that sit for a second, put it on my arms, and I'm like, just everywhere. Did I say everywhere? Yes, I did. Tonight I'm gonna be using some retinol, so I don't use it every night. I use retinol maybe once or twice a week. I used to use like a, what is it, a BHC or AHA, whatever. What is this shit? An AHA, like chemical exfoliant, but I don't. I didn't really like the way it felt and I didn't notice a difference so I stopped using it. I didn't really like it, so. I used it for like a couple of months, not for me. At least the one I was using, but whatever. So for retinol, I'm gonna be using the Peter Thomas Roth Even Smoother, this one. I've been using this for like a year or so, I don't know. I used to use it like every night and then I was like, I feel like that was overkill, so I just switched it to a couple times a week. Cause I was just like, this is expensive. So I just use one pump and then I just, do my fingers like this and then i'll put it on like certain spots on my skin like this and just here and here and then i'll just rub it in bring it down the neck of course because you don't need a lot of this because it's very strong a lot of retinols are they're very very strong so you don't need like a lot not that i'm a skincare expert look at me i used to use clean and clear like hello so just pack that in and then yeah i'm gonna follow that with um an eye cream as well as a moisturizer. So the eye cream I'm using, I have two different ones, but I'm just trying to use this one up. They're both from Fresh. The one that I'm using tonight is the Lotus Youth Preserve Eye Cream, this one. But my favorite one is the Rose Hydrating Fresh Gel. I really like this one just because it's like, it feels a bit more moisturizing. I love the Rose line from Fresh. I think it's their best line. For me, I've never used like, I've used the Youth Preserve ones, but I really don't like their moisturizers. So I prefer the Rose one, it's much more hydrating. So I just take like a little bit on my finger, place it underneath my eyes. Just like this, just a little bit. Are eye creams necessary? I don't know, that's debatable, but I like it, so whatever. And then I just gently pat it into my skin, just like so. I even put it above my eyes because I don't know what's actually correct, I just do whatever I feel like. <laughs> and then I just pat, pat, pat again. And then I also, once again, put it up here just because. Because like, I remember a few years ago when I was working, one of my bosses came up to me because my skin was like horrible, it was really, really bad. This is when I was still using Clean and Clear like their moisturizer. Like I'm shouting you out specifically because it's just terrible. Sorry, not sorry. And my skin was so dry that my boss came up to me and literally was like, oh, you need to get some Clinique. And I was like, bro. Like when your boss comes up to you and tells you your skin is bad, like that's how you know it's bad. I was like, okay. So that's when I went to Sephora and one of the workers introduced me to the fresh, like this specific moisturizer, this one. And I think, I don't think I got the toner at the time. I got like a different toner. I don't remember which brand it was, but um, like, Love it. I've been using Fresh ever since then. So it's been literally like four or five years at this point using this one. I've like switched out. Like I said, I tried the Youth Preserve ones. I just don't like them as much. I think the Rose one is better. But Bestie, we're out. We're out of this. Like she's empty, okay? There's nothing, there's nothing left. So 
I have some on the way, don't be worried. But for today we have to use, I have this one. Again, this is another one of their moisturizers that, it's not bad, but I don't prefer it. It's the Fresh Oral Calming Rescue Mask. And I know that this is reviewed pretty well, but I don't know, I don't, I think I like the way it sits on my skin. It's a rescue mask, so you can leave this on to like, you can leave it on or you can like remove it, I believe. Let's see. So you're supposed to leave it on in five to 10 minutes and you can massage it in or use it once a day. You can use it overnight, whatever. I just feel like it's a bit heavy on my skin. Maybe I just don't give it enough time to like, whatever. So I'm gonna use like this amount and then I put it in between my palms and I do rub it together just cause I feel like this is much, easier to apply so it's kind of like as you can see it's a little bit thick and then I'll just pack this in to my skin of course the neck can't forget the neck do not forget your neck that's important just patting it into the skin because whatever why not and then I won't go to bed for another like couple of hours so this will all sit on my skin for a little bit so I always do that now but am I gonna do it today yeah and then lastly I'm gonna use the rose petal soft lip cream this is also from my Dusty Fresh. I know everything's backwards. I'm using my, my front facing camera on my bed. And then I just put a little bit on my lips. Good enough. And now I'm ready for bed. I know, crazy, right? I'm ready for bed. So I've also recently had like eczema. I think it's an eczema flare up or stress or something. I don't really know because who am I, a dermatologist? Clearly not. So I have like these marks on my neck that have come up and they were like really, really bad. So what I've been using is, I have it on the back of my neck too, but I don't feel like turning around because I'm lazy. It's much better now. I don't think you guys probably barely see it. So what I've been using is the CeraVe moisturizing cream. I've been putting this on top of it and then I let that sit for about like 20 seconds, 30 seconds, whatever. Basically as long as it takes me to take out the lid for the next product. And then I got the CeraVe healing ointment, which I'm pretty sure is just glorified Vaseline, whatever. So I've been using that and I take this just a tiny bit, literally a tiny bit, and I put it here and I just rub it in and it's helped this heal so much. It was really, really bad for a while, you can see, and I think a couple of my previous vlogs, you'll see like this like very, a little bit darker. I don't think it shows up that much on the camera. It's been healing a lot more now that I've been using this stuff. It's pretty much gone. I also had a spot on my lip here that was like kind of flared up. So I do take a little bit of this and I put it on my lip. So like right here, you could once again see in like a previous one of mine that I have like a little bit of a dry patch. So I've been using this and I just take it and I dab it on here. I don't want it to be like too heavy. So I just want to know the product's through but I don't like leave it so it's super heavy. And then that's helped like heal that up because it was also like pretty itchy and stuff. That's why I think it was like an eczema flare up because I don't really know what exactly it was. But I used to get flare ups like that, like itchy spots on my hands. And then I actually switched. Well, I can't do anything right. So I made a mess. Don't mind me. So I actually had switched to this moisturizer, the CeraVe moisturizing cream. Not their like lotion, their cream. And this actually helped so much. So I've also been using this for at least like four or five years. I love this lotion. It's the only very moisturizing lotion that I have found that I don't feel like is greasy. So I've been using that a shit ton. Also, I put on deodorant because once again, not sponsored, Native. But I've been using Native because honestly, I like their packaging. So I like picked that. I'm such a like, whatever. So I picked this and then, actually I didn't pick this one, my husband did. He was like, oh, I like the color. I was like, okay, whatever. I've been using them for a while because some deodorants were like really irritating my skin. Not specifically the sensitive one. I use like all of Native's like deodorants. For some reason, their products like don't irritate my skin a lot. So I really like that. But I'm not you, so if it irritates you, I'm sorry. And then of course, because I wash my hands a lot, I put lotion on my hands because this is one thing with me. I need my hands, my arms, my body. I like to be moisturized all the time because I can't stand the feeling of like dry skin. So like if I wash my hands a lot, no. So we need to have our hands and my feet too, like always need to be like moisturized. I don't want it to feel dry. It drives me crazy. So it's my nighttime skin routine. It's my nighttime care. It's not every night that I do like all of this. I don't use retinol like I said every single night, but I do double cleanse with the, the two cleansers. I always use a moisturizer, but I don't normally use that one. I use this one because I'm out of it because I used it all. And that's another thing, Fresh, if you're watching, which I doubt you are, bring these back. Bring back the jumbo ones. Like, I love the jumbo ones. And when it was, when was it? They had them in like around Christmas time. I bought two of them because this does not last me long. And I'm so sick of having to buy them every like month. Like, just give me a jumbo one. Why did you just continue it? Like, I know it's popular. Like, come on, be real. So that's my skincare. I'm gonna go edit a video that was supposed to be out four days ago because I can't seem to get anything done in time. But yeah.
Bye. If my hair looks greasy, no it doesn't. It really doesn't, okay? Just don't tell anyone.